So I just found out that after over seven years of development, 18 months of actual production, and countless hours designing what was meant to be EA's new cash grab, Anthem's actually dying. See, I was browsing Reddit during my morning shit, because routine's key of course, and I happened to find a post saying that Anthem's roadmap's being delayed inevitably. So naturally, I threw a nice K-cup into my Keurig, told my dog to fuck right off, and turned on Anthem for one last hurrah before the game joins the likes of Mass Effect Andromeda, Burnout Paradise, and a game we all knew and loved dearly. Club Penguin. So let's all join together for a moment of silence, and on three, let's all press F to pay respects. And three. Alright, that's enough. You fucking furries get the hell out of this graveyard, you sick fucks. After a couple hours of playing, I finally realized what was making the game so boring for me. See, I never realized there was a difficulty setting. I'd been so bored with the repetitive enemies and lack of any sort of challenge, and that's why I quit to begin with. But then I found the difficulty setting, and that's when I finally enjoyed Anthem. Now don't get me wrong, the game is still repetitive. The map's pretty much always the same, you're always fighting the same three types of enemies. You got the big guy with the flamethrower and shield, the bitch with the laser cannon who always shows up at the worst times, and then the grunts from Halo. And of course, you fight those guys in every mission, no matter where you go. If you're in the forest, you're fighting those guys. If you're in the caves, you're fighting those guys. And if you're lucky, you might just get a little variant of one of them, but it's all usually pretty much exactly the same. And the story doesn't really make sense either. I mean, it's harder to keep up with than the Lost storyline, and that shit was confusing as hell. In the end though, I finally enjoyed my time with Anthem, and while I doubt much else will come from the game, I can't help but wonder how great it could have been if it hadn't been troubled by all the development issues that it had along the way. Well, thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Sorry there was no actual game audio or anything, OBS stuck its tender fingers straight into my dark hole and it really messed all my audio up. But if you liked this video and you stuck with me until the end, let me know what games you are looking forward to this year down below. And while you're there, leave a like and subscribe to keep up with us. Also join the discord, we can play some games together.